Hello, my name is Chris Bouguet, and I am an assistive technology person, but I really like to think of myself as an inclusive design facilitator. One tool that no doubt you use in your instructional practice is video. Everybody loves video. One thing you can do to increase the effectiveness of video is to include captions or subtitles. Turn the captions on. Captions do a few things. First, and most obviously, they help people with hearing impairments better understand the content that's happening in your video. Everyone gets the content. Chances are, if you're making a video, you want the largest number of people as possible to be watching that video and experiencing the content. Including people with hearing impairments. Second, evidence suggests that pairing audio with text improves language and literacy skills especially for English language learners. When you think about it, it makes total sense. The more opportunities you have to see a printed word as you're hearing it, helps you know what that printed word sounds like. And that helps with reading. A quick tip for families who are watching television programs or internet videos is to turn the captions on. Turning the captions on alone won't necessarily teach someone to read, but it can help. Turn those captions on. Now, if you're making instructional videos, there's a few quick tips that can help you add captions easily. Uh, the first tip would be to choose an app to record with that has an auto captioning feature. One of my favorites is the Apple Clips app, which is free for iOS devices. Apple Clips is awesome. Apple Clips allows you to edit your captions, so if you make a mistake, or if it does, you can go back and you can fix it. I don't mistakes make. If you're making a video where you're talking over a slide deck, like with Google Slides or with PowerPoint, both of those tools have an auto captioning feature as well. They're perfect for recording webinars. If you've got a video that doesn't have captions, no worries you can take that video and upload it to YouTube. YouTube has an auto captioning feature. This can save you some time. Once the auto captioning feature has done its thing, you can go back and you can edit any mistakes that it has made. Auto captions gets you on the green, but it's up to you to tap it into the hole. I hope these few tips help you create videos that are accessible to all of your learners. Captions are awesome. So always remember, Keep calm and turn the captions on.